So in this video, let us look into the mean of grouped data by direct method. So basically, what do you mean by mean? Mean is nothing but in other words, we can say it is the average, you know, it is the it is the most middle value, something like that. So that is the mean. So how do you find the mean group data by direct method? So first of all, what do you mean by group data? A very simple example for a group data can be the marks obtained by the students in the class. Say, for example, 10 of them obtain 20 marks. Say out of 25, 10, 10 students obtain 20 marks and 9 students obtain 18 marks. So 7 students obtain 14 marks and so on. So that's the group data. So how do you find the mean of those kind of group data by a method called direct method? So here is the formula for that. The mean is given by x bar and so x bar equals the summation of fi times xi divided by capital N where N equals where N equals summation F1 that is nothing but the sum of all the frequencies that's what is F sorry that's what is the capital N it goes on so so we we got this n how do you find n say for example if okay let me draw a quick table here say say we've got students here and then the marks that they obtained here okay so this is students are say uh, six seven ten nine eight and three and then say out, out of 25 six people uh, obtain 22, 7 of them obtain 21, 10 of them obtain 17, 9 of them obtain 19, and 8 of them obtain, say, they get around 20, and 3 of them obtain, say, 23 marks. So now, this is the variate, this is the marks, and this is the frequency. How many of them got 22 marks? How many of them got 21 marks? So 6 of them got 22 marks. 20, uh, 7 of them got 21 marks. 10 of them got 17 marks. It has to come the other way around, but it's okay. So this is the frequency. So you get to add everything. So to find what? To find the average marks of all the students. To find the mean marks, you need you need to like add all the students. And then, you know, multiply the marks 22 times 6. So this is Fi and this is, uh, say, let's say Xi. This is not the variate. Let's keep this as, say, Xi. Okay. So now Fi into Xi. So 6 times 22, 7 times 21. So 6 times 22 plus 7 times 21, that is what this gives you. As far as the n is concerned, this is the frequency. 6 plus 7 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 3, go on. So that's what this says, you know. This whole thing, that is what it says. So but what does this say? Now if this says summation of f1, that means f1 plus f2 plus f3 and so on. If this says summation of fi xi, it means f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus f3 x3 and so on. So that's what this says. So, so that's how you find the mean. So you multiply 22 times 6 and 21 times 7, 17 times 10, and you add them all up and divide it by the sum of all the frequencies. So that's how you find the mean, right? So this is the frequency, the number of students that score whatever marks, and these marks is denoted by xi, or say you can say the variate. This is the varying thing, you know? The marks vary, and how many of them have got so many marks? So that's what it is. So this is a group data, and finding the mean of this group data by direct method is using this formula. In simple words, you just have to multiply um, the frequency, that is the number of students, uh, times the marks that they've obtained, and sum it all up, and then divide it by the capital N, which is nothing but the sum of the frequency. So that's all. So this is how you find the mean of a group data. So this ends this video. Uh, I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problems based on mean of group data by direct method.